he said the grace that makes ease that makes things happen easily please you don't have to kneel in the name that is above all names that name Ebenezer let it speak over your life let me tell you hardship is not a good thing oh don't don't ever embrace it it, it can interrupt many useful things in your life I pray that this grace that came from the throne routed through the, the patriarchs and the matriarchs in this city that makes for ease I stretch my hands may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the grace that brings encounters to a man please be sensitive and pray now you don't have to bring anyone under the anointing outside we don't have that time but in the name of Jesus I am praying there is a grace that draws men and really helps them to see an unfolding of deep things in the spirit I release that grace upon you now I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic and I declare I speak to the two lift gates of your destiny be open now 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 the Bible says and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah Paris Cobra this year and he overtook the chariots of Israel I want to release a grace for speed just help those under the anointing father by the grace of God I declare I don't know how it has been before now but I declare speed take that grace now speed in your life speed in your destiny help them please speed in your family overflows outside speed speed in the name of Jesus the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I prophesy to the north the south the east and the west everywhere the helpers of your destiny are positioned I command them to appear now please help them I command them to appear now because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity the Bible says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I decree and declare the grace that distinguishes may that grace rest mightily upon you hallelujah I was preaching in Rogic and I please permit me to honor the woman of God pastor mrs. bimbo Ekweme. God bless you we truly honor you thank you Apostle Goodhart couldn't make it he traveled but listen while I was preaching there at the conference I was studying and the Spirit of God told me to pray for the grace upon the people the grace for visibility believe me people of God let me tell you being gifted is one thing but there is a grace that gives you visibility the Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there are many gifts listen some of you are in ministry you truly are gifted some of you are in business like Dr. Stanley prophesied over you but it looks like the gate and the revelation came from Acts chapter 12 that the Bible says how that they bound Peter and prayers were going on by the church and the Bible says an angel came loose his chain brought him out of the first gate out of the second gate he says he came to an iron gate that opened up to the city 
there is a gate that opens a man to the city in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the gate that must be open for your influence for your gift for your product to find expression receive that grace now hallelujah the Bible says certain men came to David in the cave of Adullam even though they met him hiding they bound themselves with a covenant to help him that he must become king let me tell you this no matter how great you are your exploits is predicated on the quality of the people that believe in you and stand by you no matter how anointed you are the gift of men is a grace that God can bring faithful men faithful men father where are the people who must show up over someone's destiny someone's ministry wherever they are by the spirit we call them into your life now <laughs> hallelujah listen it's one thing for people to believe you be conscious of what you are receiving but it's another thing for people to stand up and bless you the Bible says God restored the captivity of Job Job 42 verse 10 and it says his friends came and everybody came with a bag of money when Saul met Samuel he said on your way back you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you there is a real grace for favor Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her Exodus 3 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians it shall come to pass that as you go you shall not go empty I decree and declare the kind of favor required to accelerate your life I declare may that favor rest upon you whatever has destroyed your prayer life that it has gone down the grace to pray the grace to fast completely gone right now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar the grace to intercede the grace to pray the grace to wait upon the Lord the grace to create changes in prayer receive that grace in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord the Bible says and Jacob dug a well and the Philistines came and covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him he called it Rehoboth he said God has given me my own space there is a grace for territory where the your portion in a land is kept and left for you in the name of Jesus wherever your portion is in this land I stand in partnership with the grace upon the fathers in this land and I declare that you locate that which is yours in the name of Jesus Christ now in the name of Jesus Christ we're wrapping up I want to pray for the grace that draws the ministry of the Holy Spirit to him. Listen, we are made by our fellowship with him. This one, there is a strong grace that will come on you. I want you to believe it. There is a grace, an engracing to wait, to stay until you are furnished, until you are made. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From the front to the back, the left to the right, everyone who must carry this grace. Father, call people, call people into dimensions of intimacy. Call people, receive that grace. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It's a fire that is resting on you. 
receive that grace seneteko shanakata zetias ebregetebo sadabalada bakata help them please receive that grace the overflows outside receive that grace you will never be the same i release you with a hunger for spiritual things in the name of jesus christ there is the spirit of revelation access is a fellowship into the mystery you are called it's not just something you study you are called into the fellowship of this mystery and as much as the lord has shown us mercy and helped us i stretch my hands there are people who must drink of that grace i stretch my hands access to depths revelations of the spirit carry that grace now carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah anyone here appointed to death that death is following you following your family members i stand by the god of heaven we declare cancelled now tonight we are going to change things in this place in the next five to ten minutes we are going to rewrite things we are going to end cycles now listen listen i know you have been praying but now your pastor called for this solemn assembly to open you up to the futility of the flesh and this physical realm outside of the assistance of heaven please hear me everyone who is a worker here hear me your lot is in your understanding not your office your portion is not in your office it's in the realm of the spirit so an attack on your prayer life satan is not interested in your prayer he's only interested in anything that will cut you from participating in the realm of the spirit and since he found out that prayer is one of them he's attacking it satan does not care about your prayer no he only cares about that connection when we pray we are not being religious when we pray we engage angels we engage the holy spirit he begins to search the mind of the father what is supposed to happen in her life between november and december 2020 the holy ghost is searching the mind of the father oh she's supposed to have received the restoration you will think i'm joking until your life begins to testify in strange ways this meeting you are seeing now has been finished long in the realm of the spirit so when i'm praying i'm speaking over you i'm not creating something new no i'm merely transporting a reality that has been well discussed with god that this is how you are going to invade these people's lives and turn their lives around that's why he brought you from wherever you were it's proof that a discussion was happening in the spirit listen when you understand this go back this night wake up in the night put your office files on the floor shalaska makapranda kabato seketeba ekros kebarush kabaranta i speak favor in the name of jesus i am bula hefziba the delight of the lord when you are done on monday morning dress well pick your file go to the office already angels are there because you sent them already the holy ghost is there find a way of believing what i'm saying tonight listen 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 when you go back home and everybody is lamenting don't feel bad but don't join them again you came for a conference that has educated you listen things are not going well in this family the pandemic has made things bad and suddenly you remember the message and you say please excuse me for the next two hours 
and you step into your inner chambers and say i am not just a mere human being there is the duality of my being the advantage of priesthood you begin to mention your loved ones by name i speak favor in the name of jesus i command open doors they are loving jesus and while you are making these declarations hear me how it will happen the dynamics is none of your business leave it to the artistry and the wisdom of the spirit hear me when you pray favor upon your life don't pray and say god use my uncle that's 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 fake prayer there are 7.2 billion actors for this movie don't limit the producer's capacity leave him to decide time for things to change in my life it's time for things to change in my family listen 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 help that lady I command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah I wish I had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the Bible says God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds I've sown hallelujah please give me five minutes and we're done with today's service we're going to be praying and while we're praying two things will happen here number one that if at all any chain followed you here except God is not God here at house on the rock Portacot that as you pray those chains must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the God that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock Randas Kalim Parusa Sadabala Shatales True faith We understand that the worlds were made Framed by the word of God Pray you are commanding power in the realm of the spirit. Program realities over your destiny. Program realities over your life. Arise, shine for your light is come. Even the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Outside, make sure you are praying at the overflows. Those online, make sure you are praying. Determine the outcome of your destiny. You are a priest unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
listen please listen to me listen let me teach you something we're praying complaining and blaming things is one of the ways we transfer responsibility and our authority in the realm of the spirit when god came to adam pastor he said adam where art thou he said i heard your voice and i hid because i was naked he said who told you you were naked god never spoke to the woman until god adam gave him permission he said the woman and god didn't talk to him again he went to the woman woman what is this that you have done the serpent she transferred authority the serpent kept quiet that's why he became the lord of the cosmos that's why when jesus also became seen when they called him he kept quiet because had he spoken he would transfer authority the serpent satan became the god of this world by this simple mystery of using words i gave you dominion and now you say it is the woman now i leave you and i go to the woman what happened if the woman kept quiet she would have become head over man immediately but the woman said the serpent and the serpent did not blame anybody so he became the god of this world until jesus came his silence was a mystery of restoring dominion and now that he's victorious let the redeemed of the lord let the healed of the lord let the lifted of the lord let the anointed of the lord can you lift your voice and begin to say so say so say so kabarato shalata say so say so over your health Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. Let the powerful of the Lord say so. Shabranda kaparos kaparita shalata sikata embreketos kaparito shaziata hasa. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen. One of the advantages of prayer is dominion over time. Real dominion is not dominion over things. It is dominion over time. Whoever exerts dominion over time is a priest indeed. Are we together? The one thing we all have is time and when the devil wants to destroy your destiny because it is a function of time he will cause your time to just be wasted or delayed the disciples had gone six hours ahead of jesus and jesus stayed back knowing he was already delayed he began to pray and the moment he was praying when he was done he got up and started walking on water within a few moments he had caught up with them in the next one minute someone is going to be accelerating in the spirit as you pray lift your voice in one minute and declare that you gain time time has been lost through ignorance time has been lost through mistakes time has been lost through wrong associations but lord i place a demand is someone praying over time I misuse January, I misuse February, I misuse March, I misuse April, I misuse May, I misuse June, July, August, September, October. But Lord, I declare, put eight months in two months, eight months in two months, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. hallelujah please hear me now i know that 
I plead with pastor to just say this I want to encourage you whatever you will do to be here tomorrow there is a prayer and there are impartations that I want to release upon your life tomorrow make that sacrifice bring your loved ones this is not just a house on the rock meeting this is only part a quite honestly I, I didn't even start talking about what I wanted to talk about I will be teaching you the laws of the spirit realm that when you possess these realities you will play life like a chess it is true let me pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus standing in agreement with the grace upon your pastor I speak over your life that which has remained in your life as a challenge tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God I declare that it lives your life now and forever help those under the anointing there every door that has refused to open please hear me in the name of Jesus I speak to that door a father be open be open be open my God please help them be open hear me whatever should have entered your hand and by whatever means has refused to come in the name that is above all names I compel them into your hands now tonight in the name of Jesus a supernatural quickening upon your mind receive that grace in the name of Jesus that as you sleep tonight we activate visions and dreams revealing the matters of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ and can I speak over someone's life that before the Sun rises tomorrow you would have returned with a fearful testimony I say this from the depth of my spirit every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the Bible says as they went the leper found out he had been cleansed as you go tonight I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ and by the ministry of angels strange testimonies strange encounters for some of you your prayer life that is dead or dying tonight fresh fire upon your prayer altar Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, Ali, oh. oh, oh. Ali Ali yo Ali yo Ali Ali yo Mantles are falling here tonight Anointings are falling here tonight Graces are falling here tonight For the kings to arise For the kings to be born For the kings to arise For revival to be come Ali Ali Yo Ali Yo someone pray father it's time for the nations to drink of the grace you have placed upon my life it's time for the nations to partake of my business acumen of the prophetic grace of the ministerial grace the teaching mantle I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I am 
Anonia, hear me in the name of Jesus for the remaining months of this year may my God who is also your God do a speedy work in your life do a speedy work in your life a speedy work in your career a speedy work in this nation a speedy work in your family in the name of Jesus Christ I pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ I tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it I pray for you all the time and I release many graces but let me just do one I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you i am a beneficiary of this grace i know what it can do therefore i pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being close that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus finally every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports i see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact i stand and i call upon the god who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh i decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of jesus christ where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of jesus christ hear me koinonia any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry i call upon the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a god of vengeance may he arise for you as a god of vengeance in the name of jesus christ my bible says now may the lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of jesus christ i taught you that honor 
is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth i want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of jesus may my god by this mantle compensate you for every year of disfavor when laban cheated jacob and turned his wages once and again there was a compensation system for jacob it was jacob that gave birth to joseph and one joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever became a prime minister in egypt and reign preserve god's people till he died i'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him all the praise wave it as an offering as you are waving it you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing every satanic thing that does not name the name of christ you are waving it prophetically goodbye to shame goodbye to reproach goodbye to yesterday in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord now i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead i activate every virgin dimension in your life that is required for you to rise and do greater works receive that grace now in the name of jesus let the spirit of prayer and supplication like never before rest upon your life i impart upon you this moment the spirit of wisdom receive it in the name of jesus from today you begin to make extraordinary decisions that move your destiny forward in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare god's servant bishop Oedeko will say there is the spirit of faith and he came to a people a generation as a representation of the spirit of faith that came from papa hagin and was imparted upon him i decree and declare in the name of jesus the faith that works that moves mountains may that grace be imparted upon you now and i pray for you i have taught you that there is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value wealth answers to productivity wealth answers to relationships wealth answers to a lot of things financial intelligence however we are not left without an advantage i decree and declare the kind of wealth that your hand is here to handle may my god the giver of all good things surprise you with it in this season number five the force of influence for some of you by reason of this impartation nobody has known you now but between now and the end of the year in the name of jesus let the grace for visibility rest upon you let the grace for visibility rest upon you may kings hear about you may nobles hear about you may heads of government hear about you in the name of jesus christ the grace that announces your gift the grace that announces your value the grace that announces your contribution whether in business or in whatever area i decree and declare everyone who is seated in the position of authority who needs to hear about you may the angels speak to them about you may god use men to speak to them about you finally in the name of jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic every door that has been closed over your life stopping you from making destiny advancement in this year of open doors i command those doors be open now 
be opened now. I place a prophetic word on your head that everywhere you go, let it compel men to favor you. Let it compel men to favor you. Hear me? Any long-standing battle that you have been fighting in the name of Jesus, as Moses lifted his hands for victory, I stand as a privileged servant of God and I lift up my hands before Jehovah Nissi. May that battle come to an end now. May that battle come to an end now. There are some of you who have not laughed this year. You have watched others laugh, but laughter has been far from you. It's from one tragedy to another. Just when you think you are lifting your head, another problem comes. I say it again. The Bible says, and by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet they were preserved. I stand in the name of Jesus, the one who calls and anoints men. I place grace on your life. Rise above every challenge. Rise above every limitation. Therefore, Koinonia, I speak to you. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Give Jesus a big hand clap. It is done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. Yes, we look to Yahweh. Yahweh. just thinking and meditating over the prayers and the prophetic blessings that you receive number one is fear the Bible says in 2nd Timothy 1 verse 7 let me just rebuke the spirit of fear that God hath not given us the spirit of fear there's a lot happening in our world today and some of us are already victims of fear financial fear fear of your life fear as a result of all kinds of medical reports but this is the house of god therefore i decree and declare over every one of you here those connecting online that in the name of jesus christ the spirit of fear loses his hold over your life now the spirit of fear loses its hold over your life now I cleanse your mind from the influence of fear in the name of Jesus Christ Deuteronomy chapter 20 please from verse 1 
it says when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seeing horses chariots and a people more than thou he says be not afraid of them for the lord thy god is with thee which brought thee out of the land of egypt verse 2 and it shall be when you are come nigh unto the battle that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people verse 3 and it shall say and it shall say unto them here o israel ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies it says let not your hearts faint fear not and do not tremble neither be terrified because of them why for for the lord your god is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies and to save you therefore i decree and declare everything that has overwhelmed you maybe bills maybe a negative report the situation you have found yourself and we found ourselves as a nation the reality of the times in the name of jesus i remind you again and prophetically speak to you that god has gone ahead of you that god has gone ahead of you in the name of jesus christ god has gone ahead of you deuteronomy 27 and verse 14 this was a prophetic word that came to my spirit for someone deuteronomy 27 and verse 14 hallelujah it says and the levite shall speak and say unto the men of israel with a loud voice uh-huh cause be the man that maketh any graven or molten image an abomination unto the lord the work of the hands of craftsman and put it in a secret and all the people shall answer amen please listen this is a word for someone you are about to compromise and dabble into all kinds of satanic things because it looks like serving god does not pay and people are already introducing things bring this charm to your house add this one after all it's just a spiritual thing the bible says when you make anything that is not of god and put it in the secret in hope that it will help you the jealousy of god itself will fight therefore i decree and declare every temptation towards compromise to bring any other idol and to bring any other extra biblical practice because you are looking for help i declare in the name of jesus you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord in philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 paul spoke over the macedonian church and he says but my god shall supply how many all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus let me speak that over your life this week in the name of jesus my god may he supply all your needs my god may he supply all your needs my god may he supply all your needs in the name of jesus christ i heard a very humbling testimony that was sent to me i think it's a woman i don't know if she's here but sent me a testimony they were crying already owing and whilst they were just praying and meditating that she was led or so to go out to a shop and she was looking gloomy and she just stumbled across someone who had known her for a long time who she had helped as a primary school teacher he had now become a real estate person he saw her identified her greeted her and called her gave her a house immediately listen let me speak over your life again make sure you believe what i'm saying may my god supply all your needs may my god supply all your needs may my god supply all your needs for someone may my god surprise you in the name of jesus christ he said the grace that makes ease that makes things happen easily please you don't have to kneel in the name that is above all names that name Ebenezer let it speak over your life let me tell you hardship is not a good thing oh don't don't ever embrace it it, it can interrupt many useful things in your life I pray that this grace that came from the throne 
routed through the, the patriarchs and the matriarchs in this city that makes for ease. I stretch my hands. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The grace that brings encounters to a man. Please be sensitive and pray now. You don't have to bring anyone under the anointing outside. We don't have that time. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying. There is a grace that draws men and really helps them to see an unfolding of deep things in the spirit. I release that grace upon you now. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic and I declare I speak to the two lift gates of your destiny be open now 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 the Bible says and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah Paris Kobradishia and he overtook the chariots of Israel. I want to release a grace for speed. Just help those under the anointing. Father, by the grace of God, I declare. I don't know how it has been before now, but I declare speed. Take that grace now. Speed in your life. Speed in your destiny. Help them, please. Speed in your family. Overflows outside. Speed. Speed. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. I prophesy to the north, the south, the east, and the west. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are positioned. I command them to appear now. help them I command them to appear now because thou has loved righteousness and hated iniquity the Bible says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I decree and declare the grace that distinguishes may that grace rest mightily upon you hallelujah I was preaching in Rogic and I please permit me to honor the woman of God pastor mrs. bimbo Ekweme. God bless you we truly honor you thank you apostle Goodhart couldn't make it he traveled but listen while I was preaching there at the conference I was studying and the Spirit of God told me to pray for the grace upon the people the grace for visibility believe me people of god let me tell you being gifted is one thing but there is a grace that gives you visibility the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there are many gifts listen some of you are in ministry you truly are gifted some of you are in business like Dr. Stanley prophesied over you, but it looks like the gate. And the revelation came from Acts chapter 12. That the Bible says how that they bound Peter and prayers were going on by the church. And the Bible says an angel came, loose his chain, brought him out of the first gate, out of the second gate. He says he came to an iron gate that opened up to the city. There is a gate that opens a man to the city. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the gate that must be opened for your influence, for your gift, for your product to find expression. Receive that grace now. Hallelujah. The Bible says certain men came to David in the cave of Adullam. Even though they met him hiding, they bound themselves with a covenant to help him. 
that he must become king let me tell you this no matter how great you are your exploits is predicated on the quality of the people that believe in you and stand by you no matter how anointed you are the gift of men is a grace that God can bring faithful men faithful men father where are the people who must show up over someone's destiny someone's ministry wherever they are by the spirit we call them into your life now hallelujah listen it's one thing for people to believe you be conscious of what you are receiving but it's another thing for people to stand up and bless you the Bible says God restored the captivity of Job Job 42 verse 10 and he says his friends came and everybody came with a bag of money when Saul met Samuel he said on your way back you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you there is a real grace for favor Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her Exodus 3 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians it shall come to pass that as you go you shall not go empty I decree and declare the kind of favor required to accelerate your life I declare may that favor rest upon you whatever has destroyed your prayer life that it has gone down the grace to pray the grace to fast completely gone right now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar the grace to intercede the grace to pray the grace to wait upon the lord the grace to create changes in prayer receive that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord the bible says and jacob dug a well and the philistines came and covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him he called it rehoboth he said god has given me my own space there is a grace for territory where the your portion in a land is kept and left for you in the name of jesus wherever your portion is in this land i stand in partnership with the grace upon the fathers in this land and i declare that you locate that which is yours in the name of jesus christ now in the name of jesus christ we're wrapping up I want to pray for the grace that draws the ministry of the Holy Spirit to him. Listen, we are made by our fellowship with him. This one, there is a strong grace that will come on you. I want you to believe it. There is a grace, an embracing to wait, to stay until you are furnished, until you are made. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From the front to the back, the left to the right, everyone who must carry this grace. Father, call people, call people into dimensions of intimacy. Call people. Receive that grace. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It's a fire that is resting on you. Receive that grace. Help them please receive that grace. The overflows outside receive that grace. You will never be the same. I release you with a hunger for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is the spirit of revelation. Access. It's a fellowship into the mystery. You are called 
it's not just something you study you are called into the fellowship of this mystery and as much as the lord has shown us mercy and helped us i stretch my hands there are people who must drink of that grace i stretch my hands access to depths revelations of the spirit carry that grace now carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah anyone here appointed to death that death is following you following your family members i stand by the god of heaven we declare cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now Adonai 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 Shibala balala ba korada balada ba Zibron dogo balaka press ke bata balada bakata prada gada balada bosh Zikete bakaria da baranda basko prondo go pashti ba Stebele de bakata prande gede balada baragada balaka sodo boko to prande kete Zikete gede bakata bragada balada ba Go ahead and pray tongues Edify your spirit Zata prata kata bala da bakata prata kata bala da bakoso prondo godos Shakata bara bada bala da bakata praga da bala da bos Mam prata kata prata kata kata bala da bakoso pras ke bala Shakata bala da bos Ekata pros ke bande kele baria ta baria da baba 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 Shokoto baka praga da bala da bos Ekata kata le koso posi bada kata Shekata rekato skopoto goto broske balalaba Mekele baske priyada balalaba Ske brondo shubay Rebedege de belele bokoto Frogada balalaba Aparete bokoto brosko Prendige de bash Lekete brosko bondi Kreski balekete Shubroto koto prekete Belele bekete fa Soto boko to freke tele boko to prende kete Seke de gede gede bela da boko soto freke da bala da baka sende kete beke de bras kapada Seke ta baka para ta ba Seke ta ta baka ta ba 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 Seke te ko soto boko suba kete bala da bas Mente prate kete freke te kete beke te gete Lende ko soto boko to frende kete Ekra ta ka si kete le ko to boko to freke da ba 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 Sekete prosko topa kata legete Sekete prende kete prosko prosko ba Rakata ba lekete prende kete balada ba Lekete prondosko proto koto bosh Lekete prese kete prese kete pekete Lekete prosko ba 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 Pray, 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 pray Build your spirit Make intercessions Lekete prosko ba ta balada ba Make contact with heaven Rise through prayer. Lebron's Kabosha Balke Bronz Kabariata. Mekata Prosko Balabada Badakatai. Sekata Lebon Supratiadabash. Take charge over the heavenlies. Sente Proski Batikata Tata Pakata. Sekata Tata Pakata Palada Bos. Men ought always to pray and not to sing. Shoto to koto pro koto polo to pro koto fresh. Take a table like what the abalabats. I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata pro kata para kate. Shakata pro kata pro koto pro kosa kate. Shakata re kate makapos kambatia. Ekra kata kade 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 kade
Makapa koto shopo koto balaba Menta prata kata lekete boska Emprotka boska bandeke boske baska Lekete boko so proto koto pakete Mekete protiska bariata baska emproske bos Ekrata tata boko to pronske baba 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 Lekete bako rasikete balanaba Shekete prosku barikete Zindekete lekete baba 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 Super Papa Catapala Nabakati Canabala Naba. Come on, pray, Koinonia. Sika take it, Baba 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 Baba. Sekatele Baka Pronse Patakatai. Sekatele Baka Baba 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 Baba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is Koinonia. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. Don't break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lift your hands, everyone. Sikapa tatabala daba. Lift your hands. Sikaparente kabala daba shikatai. Mande krada la pako prondo skobali kariada. Zete parata parikata. Zeka tere potu koto. Shikelepo sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. 
We are going to pray in tongues. Listen. Within these five minutes, there will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands, lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartation. Let there be openings. Openings of portals. Openings of vessels. Pray. Pray. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Kete baka prate kete. Sete la paria da baka taya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Ka prate kata baka tate ke pokotos. Ke prate kete paria ta bala da baka ta prega da bala da ba. Rakata ta baka ta bala kata. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access. Access is being given to men. Matata takata palapa. Rakata pokoto pokote baba baba baba. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Shata bara pata kaprash, zene broko to bros kaprate kata, shata tapa karaba baba kata, rakata broto koto polo do bos, shaka taka te, rakata poko to bos, manta prata kata, lekata bros koto broko tos, embrakata baba baba baba, come on lift your voice and pray. Let them be a 
I see the chains the chains of falling. I see the chains falling. I have physical chains. Physical chains. I have physical chains. Physical chains are falling. Physical chains are falling. I don't see a day. There's an army They are rising up They are rising up There's an army There's a family that has been on my mind I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the, are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Every assault of darkness. Every chain. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits. Chains of limitations. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a? There are people that spoke to me about someone. They are not here. Someone who got mad or psychosomatic. It's not a word of knowledge. There is a family that I'm supposed to minister to here. Okay, if they are not around, that's okay. Why are you here? 
your brother, your elder brother, what's wrong with him? Come. How many years? Seven years. Where is he? At home. I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like they look like guns, but it's fire, literal fire. It will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now, I cause that pain. Go now. Go now. 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 Every devil of darkness responsible for every pain, I cause you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed. The power of God is healing them right now. Right now. Right now. You may not even know. Right now. The sign is that it will touch you. It must touch you. You can't stand on your feet. If you are part of this list, it will touch you. That's what the Lord is showing me. I cause that pain I cause that spirit of infirmity In the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah Everyone lay your hand on your chest The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now Blood conditions Blood conditions Blood conditions All those who are part of it There will be this same fire It will come upon you in a mighty way It's a sign that you are the one God is touching This is not something vague Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Christ Right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Blood conditions I speak to you All those affected May the fire of God set you free Now 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 the power of god is touching people right now right now i cause that devil i cause that devil i cause that devil i cause that devil in the name of the lord jesus christ i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i see visions of the spirits of infirmity leaving people leaving people leaving people in the mighty name of Jesus, I cast that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies. And I'm seeing a guy. You have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies I see the Lord showing me. Please let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one. Just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cost this chains. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go right now. 
and I break by the power of the Holy Spirit this spirit that causes you not to sleep you are set free in the name of Jesus Christ how many months? six months in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit be free right now you will begin to sleep normally in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is touching someone's ear right now as I speak the Lord is touching someone's ear you will literally feel as though a cotton bud is put in your ear and all of a sudden it will open up and become clearer thank you Lord Jesus I give you praise thank you Lord Jesus Christ the Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump you began to see this you've not even shared it with many people breast lump is living right now right now dissolving and going back to hell never to return to you again hallelujah hallelujah there are four people listen there are four families that as I speak right now the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs listen listen it's not it's not just prophecy for everybody four exact people one there are four of them two the angel of the Lord literally 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 is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs dramatic breakthroughs the Lord is showing me over 10 people and I see academic chains this is what I see 10 people 10 people and this is not your fault 10 people I'm going to begin to count 1 to 10 and goodness it's like fire 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 I cast those spirits 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I cast those chains I cast those chains I cast those chains It comes to an end. I tell you, it comes to an end. That chain breaks now and forever. It comes to an end. Hallelujah. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. If this is all it does tonight, that's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now in the name of Jesus Christ prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit Sheketataparata Sheketetepokotos at least 19 people at least 19 people shataka bariata fire physical fire coming upon your eyes physical fire coming upon your eyes open them up oh god to these dimensions of supernatural revelations Hallelujah. 
I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now. Two families. Right now. Just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented. Right now. Let your power visit and set them free now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front right to the back, there are people that God again is visiting their families. Families, families. God is bringing breakthrough. Right now, right now, just this road, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let those families, let the angel of the Lord, the angels walking through this crowd, right now, right now, right now, in the name that is above all names, angels of the Lord, walking to families, performing specific miracles, specific miracles, specific miracles. Specific miracle. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Madonna, hello, Gim Madonna, Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands everyone Lift your hands There are some devils that need to leave this place right now Hallelujah Listen, listen, listen God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now Every service is miracle service Are you getting my point now? We are going to shout that name Jesus My goodness I am telling you Major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs Breakthroughs The symbol Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit, every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus. And at the count of three, they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I cause devils now. I cause spirits now. I cause spirits, every wicked spirit out of God's people, out of every family. Now I break spells, I break witchcraft, I break the power of divination. Bring them out. Bring them out. I cast that power. It's not just them. Families. They are families. I set fire. 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 Upon altars. I set fire. I set fire. I set fire. Upon Lift your hands.
once again God is visiting families This is not about you All the people here are representing families Lift your hands Oh, the fire of God must fish them out There is no hiding For any spirit Shh. At the count of three You will shout that name At the top of your voice And a sword of the spirit Will go to your family There must be deliverance tonight Are you ready now? One, two, three Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you to open. I command you to open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands, that is tied down by any kind of limitation, I don't care what it is, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else, in this place, this is the mount of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare 
that every force stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost leave now Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.